Good evening and welcome to the media. Okay, I want to say thank you very much, gentlemen. Hey, so pleasure being with you this afternoon. And once again, I'm Alexander G. King. I'm a Liberian citizen who was registered for Boone County. And I see the need of getting involved into our mineral industry. And we know that the resources for Liberian and our government are encouraged on to take advantage of that I went, went into the mine without a get money, clean, paying taxes to the Ministry of Lines and Man. And uh, we've been, we been helping plenty of people in the Republic. The year they get a most Liberian who mine are not developed today. They are afraid to get into it. But we're being in the basics. I incorporated my wife and other people, other friends who I've been talking to about the same money being there and they are joining me. And yeah, we are recently, they go on June, 20th, June 22nd, uh, one of my diamond boys, by the name of Old Man Cody, stole a friend record of him taking some diamond from the creek. And we're in the process of checking on him. And uh, he made a call to one Daniel Anderson, who he alleged giving the the diamond that the both of them estimated would be 35 to 40 carat. Because he said for the past, he stole diamond for somebody's fee, and then Daniel Anansi was not having skill, and then they estimated the carat. He said, it can be 3 carat, and Daniel Anansi said, no, it can be 3 carat. But when they brought the skill, they weigh and it was 2 carat in the 3 point. So at this time, when he took the diamond to Daniel Anansi himself, the diamond can be 45 or 40 carat. And Daniel Anansi no. said, no, this can be 30 carat. So he said, okay, but this year can be 30 carat. And let me go and have myself dressed so that we can go to Morocco and do the business. But when he left from the Daniel Anansi era, where he presented the diamond to Daniel Anansi, on his way going to have himself dressed, his friends who he worked with that suspected him or stealing, they took the complete to the money agent, which the government representative as uh, the money. We are discussing Bakono County, which what time? And what's the money claim's name? Uh, we took claim nine, a survey. Okay. In which what time? We have money history. Uh, so, in that process, the, 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 the police took the complete to the money agent and they have him arrested. When they arrested him, at which time Daniel Anderson was still expecting him to go to him so that the two of them can leave with the demo. But then when he, when they got when they have him arrested, Daniel Anderson was calling him, placing call to him, because Daniel Anderson name is thrown in his phone where the phone was in the possession of the money agent. So the money agent said, You cannot answer the phone right now because you are under our custody. So uh, the next day, they, they took him to jail and the next day. They brought him back for investigation, and during the investigation, he confessed that he and Daniel Anderson have a transaction. He told the, the group, he confessed to the Ministry of Lines and Man that he gave a diamond to Daniel Anderson that the estimate could be 35 to 40 carat. And he admitted taking the diamond from your claim. He admitted, for your taking, money, your money he admitted taking the diamond from my claim. Okay. And so the ministry. Investigated the case and they came up with their fast funding and recommendation. And during the investigation, they done an honest man have been money in the Republic of Liberia with yellow machine diversion river. And right now, had a project on Lofa River. We're all having a broken lesson, need a permit to do such a money. But yet, criminally going in the Republic, even in that money agency, stealing people down more that he is admitted to that he bought a one, two carat, 80 point. It's the three point for the old man called it. They said that because he wanted to destroy evidence of the, 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 30, the 35 to 40 carol that he and Obi Cody estimated. So, Lensema had done the investigation and they said, Dana Anansi, you get it, Dama produced it. But when Lensema saw that there was a criminal, uh, let's say, a criminal related issue in this thing that they don't have power to investigate. Tell anything that but they said according to their, their law, they cannot investigate anything that pertains to theft. So they have to send it to the police IG that they report a guy from the Ministry of Lines and Man that indeed the police or uh, the Justice Ministry and the Ministry of Lines and Man work together. So anything that, that have theft related issues, it should be sometimes sent to the police. It was a year. What did the police say? 
When we came today and the police said they want to do cross-examination, they asked us a question, they asked Omer Kali to explain, and Omer Kali explained, they asked Omer Kali, why can we believe that he did, you gave Daniel Anna, and even how can we believe that you found a Dama? He said, my girlfriend saw it. At the time they have me arrested, I want to deny because Daniel Anna said myself being in the deal before I can steal people Dama I gave to him. But so this one, I wanted to deny, but the girlfriend came up to say, Oh, I saw the demo you were discussing about. And the owner of the claim have been good to also we're not still here for the demo to loss. Now how she confessed it. That what make me Omen Cody to also confess. So as, as we the speak, where is Omen Omen Cody now? Omen Cody is around here. Uh, okay, he currently talking to the police because he said they want to take a statement to send the, the case to court. What's about Daniel Colley? I mean, uh, Daniel, Daniel Anansi. Daniel Anansi. Daniel Anansi have a lawyer uh, uh, who, I don't know his, his friend name for it, Councilor Gu. Borussia yeah. Gu, he has been the one that been standing for him from length and mile, all over everywhere they carry Daniel Anansi will be there. So what do you want? And now that the case is before the police, the police is about to send it to court, what do you want? What are you saying? I want the case to go to court mm. so that we can find justice into this case because not only my case, but other Liberian man or those that obtain licenses to do alluvial money in Liberia have been affected so many times. They cannot profit because anytime they get small dam or God bless them, money men will come and take it away and because they don't have their way forward, they yet forget about it. So is it, is it the first time you experience people stealing demo from your claim or the minerals from your place? This 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 is a, a, a the second time for people to steal demo from my place. The first time I never have evidence, so I never take it to light up. Okay. Because you should have sufficient evidence before you can you can accuse somebody. But this trail, the demo boy himself have confessed. Now nah, he, 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 he took the demo in the street and he stole the demo and gave it to Dana Anansi. That's what I want to do. Dana Anansi said to the police, and the 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 nice man investigator that all men calling and he never attack any damn of him. But to my surprise today at the police station here, he said all men calling for him and told him the damn was six carrot damn. And all men calling said no, it is not true. I never mentioned any carrot on the phone. And you only ask me the damn big. I said yeah, a big. A clean. I said yeah, a clean. And I ask you, my man, when you come in, you say I come in on Tuesday. And I ask you. Say you coming on Tuesday, give us some money so that we can be eating for you to come. Like you could rent those 18,000 LD and one bag of rice, and we were in the process of waiting for you. Did he admit uh, receiving the demo in question? Did he admit to that? He says saying no. Okay. But we, the police continue asking if indeed you never have anything, if old McCauley never gave you the demo, why you gave him 18,000 and a bag of rice? Mm -hmm. All he right. said he gave it for support. Is he working for you? He said no. A person who don't work for you, how can you supply them? All right, finally, as we close up, uh, this is not the first time we heard Damon uh, stolen cases. It happened sometime last year. Yeah, from that in Babalu County, the last one happened there, and we just, we, up to now, we, we are yet to know the outcome of that case. How confident are you that this young matter will come to a log logical conclusion? Really for me, I really want to fight the case to the light also that our Liberian, the poor people of the country that government get right to that indeed the resources for us to enjoy. I want to follow the case to the light so that I can defeat Daniel Anansi and any other criminal who will find themselves being in the habit of stealing from the poor people who government have given right to. So it cost me to spend any money to end the case by the grace of God, I want to take that challenge. Because it has stayed too, we, we, are, we have suffered too much in the money industry. This has discouraged other people from getting into their business. So I, Alexander G. King, want to follow this and then they call case so the light also that the Liberian government can know, so that the Liberian people can know to identify these criminals who don't want for Liberian to improve from this money industry. Thank you so much, sir. Your name again? I'm Alexander G. King. Thank you, sir. Man up. I want the man or two. Thank you so much. All right, thank you so much. Okay. All right, folks. So there you have it. We were passing, and we just um, I mean, met this uh, gentleman by the name of Alexander G. King, who is alleging that one of his workers on his mining site stole diamond worth uh, thirty-five carats. And so it to one uh, Daniel Anderson. We are yet to yes.
we are we are yet to to, to see the honesty man, but we want to speak with the Omar colleague who is alleged to have stolen the diamond. Uh, he's coming. He's the accused. Uh, Omar, uh, welcome to our microphone. How are you doing? I'm fine. Can you tell us your full name? I'm Omar Kali. Okay, where are you from? I'm from Fon Country. And where are you working? I work in Bakulu, Wisconsin. What is the claim that you work on? What's the I name work, of the claim? I work on Brooklyn Nine. Who, who, who owns the claim? Mr. King. Okay, Mr. King here has informed us that you stole diamond from his money claim. Yeah, allegedly stole uh, diamond from his claim. Uh, what can you say to that? Why did you do that? Why you stole the diamond? Because I saw it and then I took it. Why don't it, was it not important you give it to the owner of the claim who you're working for rather than giving it to some of the assets? Really, he was not present when I took it. Is he willing to to testify against you in the court? Of course. So I'm concerned that you're searching my happiness. Is this your first time? No. So you're happy? Yeah, happy. You're happy. So why are you in the habit of, of always, I mean, stealing those that you're working for, their, their, their mineral, and selling it out? Why, why are you doing that? the first one, mm -hmm. where I got it from, the person was not treating her well. And then we were doing our own hustle day. Okay. On the local river, on the phone, he sold it to me. And he talked fresh, he meet her, he never had the money. And then he came down to Monrovia and from that day, he sent our money back to us. And we received it for him. So that's the thing. He tried to know that they can't do that. So that you are willing to go and put the recipient to ensure that he gets the camera, right? Yes. That means you don't need to You said, the, you said the first time you sold Diamond or Anderson, the owner of the claim was not treating you fairly. So the, with the case with uh, Mr. Anderson, uh, sorry, Mr. King, why did he decide to sell his, his, his Diamond? Because of the business that he had to have for Mr. King now, he was not there. Just recently, I go to the working side. I start working with him. But at the time I bought the diamond, the King was not there. So my mind ran straight to Anna. So you want to see now? Of course. Amen. Yes. So you delivered this to him? I'm a second time. The second time I'm to see the diamond. I saw the guy using the money. So the diamond in question is how much it um, was? How much do you think you will give him out of it? How much do you think for me now? I can't. No, but the time you are selling it, Nana, less than money you are, Nana, less than money you are doing business. How much do you think they may going to give you? I will sell it to him. The only way, except me and myself, way is, okay. then we will know how to price. So you said to the fat carrot, how much you can sell it? How much you can sell it? Yeah, what 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 agree? Yeah, what's the difference? How much? How much does it cost? Actually, for carrot, you can sell carrot sometimes for five hundred US. Okay, so all depend the quality for it. All right, so tell me something in this camera. How do you feel now after stealing a Mr. King's a diamond and sold it and admitting to the, the public to himself? How do you feel now? 
actually I'm not feeling really fine because I've not sold the diamond yet. We are now way now we need to price. But anything you say, but anything you say, yeah, you say you need to insist on. But I'm sure that I gave you it, and even my partner they saw me giving me it. Right away, I call your attention. That's how they put the phone light on, put the patch on the guy so I can leave. Finally, I wanted to rush on me. Finally, I should tell you, you, are you going to change now to start stealing diamonds and stealing it around the world? Of course, of course, because I learned lessons now from this. Thank you. What's your name again, Chief? I'm Omer Kali. Okay, Omer Kali. Thank you so much. All right, folks, that is the voice of Omer Kali. Who is, who is uh, alleged to have stolen? Omer Kali to the police, you said the diamond. The estimate, you, the estimate you gave the police can worth 500,000. Is that true? And why you plan to sell it for the Daniel Anasi? Of course. That's what I plan. 500,000 US? US. What are you going to do with that money here? Uh, I'm going to put it to use. Okay, folks, so thanks for following us. My name is Springs. Uh, this, is, this is it. We just. We are here at the Lebanon Police uh, headquarters uh, of Capitol Hill, passing the with this interesting news. And we try to bring it to you. Uh, thanks for being there.